Hello everyone, I'm Lady Simplicity with Few Wives, and I hope you're all having a beautiful, joy-filled morning, day, evening, or night. Today, after many, many months of procrastination, I am finally going to be unboxing my Shadow Highs Uma Van Hoos doll. So, I actually bought Uma on Amazon during November of last year. And at the time, she was being sold for US $33.99, but there was a coupon of $8.50 off for her, which ended up making her price go down to $25.49. That plus the tax of $1.59, I actually ended up paying $27.08 for her. As you can see here, $27.08. Alright, back to our packaging. So this is what the box looks like. She has her name up here. And this is what she looks like inside the box. Here you can see her posing with Mara Pinkett and Harley Limestone. And on the back, she's also posing with them. They all look so cool and fierce. Okay, the top says Neon Shadow, and the bottom says The World Famous Rainbow Vision. Music competition is heating up and the rocking girls of Neon Shadow have their eyes on the prize. It looks so neat. Look, so cool. Oh. Beautiful. Okay, I'm going to take her out of her packaging. Alright. She's finally out of the box. Look at this beauty. I can never get over how beautiful these dolls' eyelashes and glass eyes are. Look at that. I love their eyelashes so much. Can you see them? Pretty long. Oh, <laughs> you can't even see her eyes. Her shadow. That's how her eyes look like. They're one of the main reasons I started collecting them in the first place. Look at that makeup. I love it. She has a broken heart on her upper cheek. Okay, I want, I want to start off by saying that I'm not an expert. I know close to nothing about what doll hair is made of or exactly how to tell it apart I get so confused um, but from what I've read around on the internet apparently her hair might be made out of nylon is that what you call it? nylon it's so pretty Look, so long and curly. It's kind of stuck together. Here. Oh. It's 
just kind of parted too. Down the middle. Your shoes keep falling off. Chumi, her hair looks bluish and purplish. Like streaks of bluish and purplish. Mostly everything about her is bluish and purplish, including her skin, both of her outfits, and her nails. Look at her nails. Oh. Oh. Her nails are kind of messed up. They have like little broken pieces. And some of them are not even painted fully. That's all right. I still, I still love her. Her hat says. Her hat says shadow, and it has a chain on it running right here, all the way to the back. You can remove it. Here, let me take it off. Oh, this is gonna be horrid. Cause it's so... Wish it was easier to take these things off. Tags. Just do it with my hands. Hopefully it doesn't... Uh, rip. One side's done. Let's look at the other side. Okay. Did it drip? Did it? No, not really. Okay. Her head comes off. On the top, it has. Oh! SH for shadow high. And it. Actually, it looks like a smiley face. Yeah, it's a smiley face. With SH as the eyes. This is her hat. I'm so glad it's not like Yubi's hat situation. Because when you remove Yubi's hat, it actually leaves a, a super weird hole. Like in the middle of her head. Up here. And I did not like that. Not one bit, it was not good, not good. This is what her hair looks like without the hat. Do you see how gorgeous this is? My goodness. The quality is over the top. Mostly. Her baby hairs are painted on. She's wearing... Oh! She's wearing lock and key earrings that are taken off easily. They can be taken off easily. And put back in easily enough. Get stuck in the hair. Ooh. The lock has SH on it. Oma 
is currently wearing a sequin top on top of her white fishnet shirt, white fishnet t-shirt. On her right wrist, she has a chain bracelet, and on her left wrist, she has a studded bracelet. She has on plaid, plan plaid pants that have this black buckle that has SH for shadow high on it. There's also some zippers. Don't think you can open them though, right? Yeah, you can't open them. They break off. She has some more buckles, and these are her heels. SH for Shadow High. This is what she looks like from the back. Her outfit looks like from the back. Her shoes fall off easily. Oh, she is fully articulated, so you can pose her. Her knees bend and wait. I thought I heard a crack. Her knees bend. And so do her elbows. Oh, that was a pop. So do her elbows. And her wrists can be moved as well. And you can even remove them to take off her bracelets. But I won't do that right now because I always have difficulty putting the hands back on these dolls. Alright. Let's see what she looks like with her second outfit on. Alright. This is what she looks like in her second outfit. This is her jacket. It has a belt tie that you can undo and you can... Put it back on. Her shirt says Hollywood Shadow. I think. And this is her plaid skirt with two buckles. Two buckles. For some reason she only had one buckle in her product picture on Amazon on the skirt. I have no idea why. And, um, this is a skirt. She has like a leather mini skirt underneath as well. But as I was putting it on, it felt like it was gonna rip at any moment. So now I'm kinda scared to change her outfit. Because it was a bit hard putting on her skirt. It's like super loose from here, from the leather and the plaid part, but it looks pretty, that's what it looks like. And these are her second pair of heels. I like these much better than the other ones, they don't fall off as easily. See if she can't stand up on her own with them. 
If you try hard enough, you can, yeah, you can get them to stand up by themselves, the dolls, without the, without their doll stand. Let's see. That's how you assemble it. So she can stand on her own with the second pair of high heels. I didn't try out the first ones. Oh, when I was putting on her jacket, I noticed some of the studs were missing. There is one missing right here. And I had to actually remove both of her bracelets. I removed her wrists and her bracelets. To put on the jacket. I can't get over how pretty she is. I love her hair. Love her outfits. Love her colors. I love everything about this doll. I really don't mind the uh, the flaws in the outfits. I don't mind that. Uh, I know there's a lot of people, there's a lot of collectors that would mind, but I personally don't mind too much, as long as the doll doesn't come like super broken, I guess. Alright, not only does Uma come with two complete outfits, she also comes with her black and blue lightning guitar. Looks like lightning, right? Black, her black and blue lightning guitar along with its case. Let me see if it opens. I hope it does. Oh, that hurt. It does open. That's nice. So I can place your guitar in here. lock it away safely so it doesn't get lost this is neat So, so what do you think about Oma? I personally loved making her part of my doll collection. MJ Entertainment's dolls are also beautiful, in my opinion. I love how most of their dolls come with more than one outfit, and the outfits are always super cute. Well... Oh, I forgot. She comes with her brush as well and her stand and these little hangers for her clothes. Well, that's all for this video, everyone. And doll collectors, I cannot stress this enough. Please, please, please remember to beware of price gougers. Don't give price gougers your hard-earned money. 
I assure you that if you keep on looking, sooner or later you will find the doll you want to buy for a much better bargain. Especially if the doll you want is from MGA Entertainment. I've noticed that their dolls go on sale and clearance a lot. I'm Lady Simplicity with you wise, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your morning, day, evening, or night.